You hit the record, didn't you? No, oh, I Mother... I <sighs> just You just can't resist. I can't. Mm. Bear with us just a moment while Garen updates his comic books on a budget list. Mm. Because I asked the question, do you have your comic books on a budget list ready? He said yes. Let me make it really quick. Mm. Oh, don't put that on there. What? That seems wrong. I can't even read your handwriting. I'm I know. I was like, how do you know what I wrote? All right, so fine. We're just going to do that. All right, fine. All right, so comic books on a budget. So essentially the concept is if you had 20 bucks to spend every week, what should you spend it on? We give you our best impressions of first appearances, what things are going to be hot, or what we really like. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now the number one on both of our lists is identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll let's start from four and count up. Four, okay. Four is easy. What's your number, okay, number four? Okay. So, for July 22nd, my number four pick is Wolverine number three. Um, and honestly, that is a fantastic pick. It probably would have been my number four, my, but I'm going to go with Hellions number two. I, start, I am I as excited for that as I am Wolverine. I really That's am. a bold statement. Hellions was, the first one was really good. I mean, this was this was a great departure. It's it's the bad guys, but they're not, they're the reject team. Well, and I, I want to know what the hell's wrong with Havoc. Right. Again. Right. Because why is the only Summers boy have, that's having a problem, this one? Well, to be fair, Vulcan's having a problem too, but it's just he well, can't Vulcan's just a dick. Yeah. <laughs> well, he can't stop quoting Shakespeare, right? <laughs> So, what's your number three? My number three, I'm going to go with Wind, number two. Yeah, good choice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to throw Empire, number two. Ah, uh, Empire, number one, was pretty good. And I'm excited about reading the rest. I don't know if it's going to be my top four. So, part of, what we, part of what we do on Comic Books on a Budget is we talk about speculation. What's going to be valuable, what's not going to be valuable, all that good stuff. So Which Avengers is going to get killed? <laughs> <laughs> I think that it is very possible that there are actually going to do something with Empire that is more compelling than the Kree Scroll Empire has formed. Because yeah, that's, that's how they touted it out. And and if you haven't read number one, um, tune out of this and tune out of our reviews episode. You can pause now? Uh, yeah. So, okay, <laughs> so I think there's a possibility that they're really going to change the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Um, and that some of the some of the things that are going to come of what's going on are pretty pretty impressive. Um, so I think that it has the potential to be have some value in it. True. Um, and also, it was a pretty good read. I think all of the the regular and the first, I think the the, the Empire run should be pretty great. I I mean the the only drawback to the Empire run is um, there's 53 books in the whole run. 53 books in the whole run. People complain about 12 books and or 20 ones with 12 books in Decks of Swords. 53 books. Come on, that's no. That's, don't 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 say cash grab. Yeah, let's not. I, I didn't. I'm just. It's ridiculous. So, so number two. Um, I'm gonna go man who effed up time number four because I love this book. That it's so great. It's really good. Um, I, I was sitting making my list last night and I thought, do I want this on there? I do, but I got to admit, it's edged out by Detective Comics 1024. <laughs> yeah, so, it's gonna be hot. Joker War starts next week. I don't know if this is still Journey Two. Or if this is part of Joker War, but uh, it is definitely... 95 is the beginning of the war. That's, well, that's right, but 95 and 1024 drop on the same day, so uh, do you need to read 95 and then 1024? So the, the powerful thing... They've been thing, slightly separate storylines, though, right? Well, all of, the, all of the Bat Family stuff that has linked to, to Joker War has been Joker pulling some thread to screw with Batman. He has set so many things in motion against this guy. Right. I don't see that there's any way for Bruce to come out of this unscathed. Um, well, so I've seen the new bat armor thing that they have, that silvery looking. You've not seen this no, yet? No, I haven't seen this yet. So that's, that's so issue 100 or issue 101. First of all, we get Grifter back for some strange Would you quit <laughs> busting balls on Grifter? Grifter's amazing. You like Punisher. He doesn't even have a scarf. Uh, pun <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have a scarf. I don't understand. Why would no, you have at you least some accent yeah. scarf? Hey, no, come hey, on. Wait, you can't do that in 2020, <laughs> man. That would... He doesn't need an accent scarf. He's Punisher. He's got to make... All right. I, did. I said that with a straight face. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> but yeah, so apparently the new armor is going to be this silvery... It, it, it reminded me of... Um, What's the what's the Batman movie that where he, where he, where he I don't know. Let's move on. Anyway, so, anyway, what's so your number one? 
Batman 95, of course. I mean, yeah. that's, that's your number one, I guarantee it's so, number one. <laughs> so there's, there's several events going on right now, if you think about it. There's, there's Death Metal, um, there's uh, Empire, we're building toward Cross of Swords, and then Next there's... Of Swords. I, I think Cross of Swords makes more sense, but... Well, if but I, I tweeted out to Teeny Howard and... If you read the free comedy and, version like I wanted you to read this morning, you would have seen that it's all based on the tarot cards. So is the tarot the X of swords, or the ten of swords, or the cross of swords? What is the so tarot ten card? of swords would be tarot. Okay, that, the, the, the tarot card says the ten of swords. Okay. So that's what it said. I mean, that's, okay. that's the, but but so. back to what I was saying. And then I feel there's like a card with ten ten mutants all with swords. I I, I have a feeling that um, Joker War is going to be the kind of ongoing event, like the, it's in the ongoing issues rather than have its own standalone book. That's, that's true. Gonna, that's going to sneak in and go, ha ha, I'm the best of 2020. <laughs> oh, but that's, but that's Joker for you. Right. But that's the thing, though. So, yes, um, X of Swords, Ten of Swords, whatever we're going to call it. Well, no, now you've got me on Ten of Swords. So if it's Ten of Swords... I sure wish Teeny um, Howard or Jerry Dugan had answered that question for me on Twitter. Uh, if it is Ten of Swords, here's the thing. Ben Percy was the other one. I that think. is pretty much all its own self-contained event within the, within the storylines. There's one issue or two issues that are just... Ten of Swords and a handbook, which is and a handbook. Uh, but all the other issues will be within like X Factor. So if you're getting all the X yeah, titles, X you're going to yeah. just get the event. Uh, in fact, I had a regular customer who he was like, "Damn you!" So what he said, "Now I have to go back because he only gets X Men." He's like, "Now I have to get all the X Men books." <sighs> <laughs> he rolled his eyes. I'm like, "What? What was so, that?" So for for the segment and. <laughs> Instead of all these bunny trolls, we're hopping down. I think Batman '95 has the potential to, to have some value to it. Um, I think it's going to be a fantastic story. Yeah. Story, and so I think putting it at number one with a bullet is like if I were if I were going to have to miss books, this would not be a one I would miss. So yeah, and I, in my DC, I've got four, five, six, seven. I've got seven books from DC. Yeah, five of them are Bat books. <laughs> so. Between me, my love of the bats and my love of the mutants, my my, my wallet is empty. So, this is gonna be a good week coming up for comics. I'm actually really excited about it. So, uh, check out our previews episode, and we'll list everything that both of us are pulling and yeah. coming out. So, yeah, it should be so. interesting too. Yeah, so, it's been a lot of fun. What? We done? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, but, sure. you, but you don't have a scarf. I don't. I could. I could have, I could have a scarf. So, no, no scarf. Punisher no. also can't see aliens. Mm. And they're guys. That's what Grifter can do.